That's what you get for being stupid. Anyway. Ooh, a revive. Very nice at this point in the game. Can't remember? Revives revive your Pokemon if they pass out. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. And then I'm going to go a different direction because I don't want to go this way. So that's that's technically not... We're, we're going to stick with the fact that Teddy Ursa being caught automatically doesn't count. So that's technically nine Pokemon in a row that Michael has caught so far. I'm pretty sure he's, he has already beaten Leo's record of catching spree time, which is very nice. Technically, in the last game, Leo only technically messed up with two Pokemon. Because I fucked up and actually ki accidentally killed two of them. Anyway, we're going this way now. At least I think we can. Er, not. Okay, never mind then. We're going this way. I should have cut out going to the Pokemon. The healing machine. I always want to say Pokemon Center, though. It's always, it's always what you think about when you think of healing your Pokemon. Either that or falling asleep. One of the two. Either way, just get going. Kind of weird, though. Kind of cool, though, they're making us go backwards. I like that. Who are you? You're kind of weird. Ha! Go Crane! What the hell is XD001? What? You're. L love. Lavrina. I'll just call you Lavrina. You're very weird. Just gonna point that out right now. You're probably the most weirdest cipher we've probably dealt with so far. Well, actually, no. But then it. Not. Not including Mir B, because Mir B is actually kind of awesome. You just seem kind of stupid. Sorry if you hear my pops. It dropped the sh- Wait, you mean in the beginning of the game? It dropped that? We know we cranes in here, so we gotta go rescue him. <laughs> nice. Damn, crane is bad ass. Crane, I'm going to get you. Wait right there. And by the way, you, I think you're the same guy I stole the Teddy Ursa from. By the way, your Teddy Ursa is actually pretty cool. Technically from the last game, but... Yeah, technically. Even from this game, too. Oh, please. We all know if you actually defeat me, you're just gonna send me all the way back to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna come back here and kick your ass. Psychic type and electric type. Voltor Voltorb is actually a pretty fast Pokemon. I think it was only beaten in terms of speed from the... It might have been another Pokemon in this game, but I think it was the De the speed Deoxys in this game that actually beat it in terms of speed. That Deoxys beats everything. Beats everyone and everything. When it's in something. Which is really stupid. That's why I hate the Deoxys. Uh, let's see, how should we do this? I think we're going to switch Pokemon soon with uh, Cerberus. Screech lowers defense. I think it actually lowers it a lot. Yeah, harshly lowers it, so yeah. 
That's not nice. And you're down. Ooh, Bagon! It is a pseudo-legendary Pokémon. It is a Dragon-type, and I think it evolves into a Dragon-Flying-type, so... Yes, pretty strong. Actually... I think we'll finish up this Voltorb, then go after the Bagon. Ooh, charge. It raises special defense, I think, and it also makes sure that the... In future games, if I'm right, it, it raises your special defense. And then it also makes it so that your next attack is extremely strong. So, And bolts at level 18 now. Very nice. Ooh, so close to 19, Cerberus. Hey! A Nummel, huh? Nummel is a fire ground type. Actually, a lot better than uh, Slugma. Slugma being a water or fire rock type, because ground types are actually pretty useful considering the fact that they have the ability to um, block out electric type Pokemon. So I, I wouldn't recommend it, but I would not say at all. So anyway, so then I think we're going to be using Faint Attack. I don't think Bagon has a good... Oh, yeah. Forgot. That's not gonna work. I use not thinking. One thing about, uh... Ooh, that did a lot of damage. One thing about ground-type Pokemon is that they can actually be, uh... They can actually be, uh... Paralyzed, just not with an electric move. So yeah, anyway, I'm probably going to be going back anyway, so I'll go out trying to lower down that damn Pokemon's Shadow Blitz. And level 19 for Houndour, yay. Or Cerberus! I swear, every time I hear Cerberus, I think of, um, the, the dog Cerberus from, uh, no, I can't think. The dog Cerberus from, god, I can't think. Ice Shield 21. That, that, I love, I love Ice Shield 21. Ice Shield 21 is awesome. Very nice. Anyway, I think we'll use Bite against you. Then we're just gonna call Avalanche. Avalanche! All right, I'm paying attention. Sorry, jeez, so weird. Ah, you flinched. All right, no critical hits. All right, Bolt, no critical hits. Good. Oh man, that was close. God, you're slow, Avalanche, though. From the looks of it, you got some pretty good defense. Alright then, time for a Pokeball. Actually, we use a Premier Ball, just for fun. Just for fun. Alright then, Charm. Alright then. See, it's just kind of like a really shiny Pokeball. Alright then. Nummel caught! Very nice. Either catching became incredibly easier in this game, or Michael's actually really awesome. I'm telling you, Michael's a demigod. Anyway, we're back. Sorry, I thought I decided to cut that out, since you guys don't want to see me go to the Pokemon Center a thousand times. Trust me, who would? Alright then. You gotta, you gotta like it, though, that they actually kind of go in reverse with this place. Pretty cool. 
Anyway, this takes me to a Pokemon Center and an item. Okay, I'll do it. You don't seem that tough anyway. Besides, you guys look a little bit stupid. I mean, at least you had that dark threatening look in the last game, and now you're just kind of like... It's like you cleaned all the dirt off everything, and all of a sudden it was actually supposed to be shiny. Which is actually kind of funny, considering the fact you guys are supposed to be like... I don't know, I'd consider it poor in this game. To an extent. Or at least the ideal of it. Like... It's hard to say, it's like you're supposed to be poor in this game because you're coming back from losing, like, a mayor who has tons of money. Imagine that, your taxpayer money going to a criminal organization. Didn't see that coming. Ooh, a Feebas. Feebas being kind of like a magic carp of the third generation. It evolves into a Pokemon with, uh, beauty standard. And yes, I knew you were going to be tough to beat. Because fighting types are strong against ice types. I would have really liked if that killed you, but I guess it didn't, so I'm gonna have to take out the Machop first. And I'll use Mud Slap on the Feebas. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Yeah! Sorry, I don't wanna go to the Pokemon Center a thousand times. Just a personal preference. Hey, Machietta! I don't think we can actually catch a Machietta in this game. Well, my friend, that didn't do shit. Yeah, Feebas is uh, not that strong. Ah. Uh, bye bye, accuracy. See, accuracy always falls. Always. Bow down to thy. Fuck, Monkey Edis. I don't even think about that. Uh. I can only hope it doesn't kill Sveal, or I'm gonna be pissed. Please, 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 aww. Why you gotta do that to me? Not Splash! Damn you! Ugh! Sorry guys, I gotta give up. Wow, you're faster? Oh yeah, I forgot, Machietta's fucking slow. Machietta's horrid in, sp in speed. It almost always goes last. Though it makes up for it for its high uh, HP though, so I do recommend it. Ooh! Body Slam. I'll learn Body Slam. Get rid of Charm. Yay, Body Slam. Body Slam is a strong move, and it can actually paralyze your opponent. So I like that. And you're dead. This guy actually has some pretty strong Pokemon, I'm surprised. He was actually doing good. Good damage. That's not compute. God, you guys are just wimps. Alright, and what's in here? Ooh, an ether, very nice. And I forgot, there's a Pokemon Center right here. I thought I was gonna have to go all the way back and heal. Yays! And I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. So we gotta be getting close to where Crane is. Alright, then let's keep going. And of course, someone falls right there. Tiny! I'll show you, Tiny, buddy. Snornaunt and a bar brooch. Ice type and water ground type. So I'm gonna have to kill that bar brooch. Since I'm not worried about the ice type, the ice type only does 1 8 damage against Avalanche anyway. So, we use Bite, and we'll use a War Beam. Huh, that was actually pretty powerful. Haha, ha, flinched. Thank God. <laughs> Yay, Bite. I love Bite with the flinching. I love Bite with the flinching and the stop moving and the all the other kinds of good things. I'm just talking very weirdly right now, because I'm weird like that. Weirdy, weird, weird. And... 
take you out like a boss. And almost out of there. You. God, that's weird. Didn't even know Snornuts had eyes. As you can see, Body Slam, very powerful. See? Why, well, you didn't call me cute, you called me tiny. Now you're just fucking with me. Alright, Cerberus, gonna stick you back up front again. Alright then, as soon as I get the item over here... Oh, I forgot. Ooh, three super potions. I like that. Fucking shit we stand on. This guy's probably gonna have electric type, so yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Even though there's nothing over here. R&D. Bet you really wish you had R&R, &R, but what are you gonna do? Oh, I thought this guy would actually have electric types, but I guess not. Low tad and a spoink. I've already seen those, so no point in explaining them again. Those spoinks going to go down. You'll do regular damage, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, go Jolteon. Ooh, a critical hit. That that's got a hoit. Yay, 19. Finally, same level as, uh... Cerberus and, uh, Spiel. Ooh, a Staryu. I like Staryu. It's a... It's just a water type, and the next game it turns into a water, uh, ground type. Not a water ground type. It's next evolution, it turns into a water psychic type, and it's actually very powerful. Some people like to put it up against, um, Alakazam and see which one's better. Uh, in terms of special attack, Alakazam is definitely better. But I like Staryu in general. Because it learns a way higher variety of moves compared to Alakazam. Or at least in my opinion. Not only that, but it's easier to obtain. I mean, of course, you have to have the same, um, for the first game, red and blue or leaf green. It'd be blue and leaf green if I'm correct. You'd have to have this. You'd have to have the right game, considering it's game exclusive. But uh, yeah, this is no place for battles. But you guys battle here like a boss. What the hell? Um, to be quite honest, they're really stupid. Like really, really stupid. And there was no reason why we had to fight you. But I don't care. Check out what's over here first. Why are you guys calling me little? I am... tough. Besides, you thought Leo was a kid, and guess what happened with that? He kicked your guys' his ass. Her ass. Did you know how to you spell ass in British? A-R-S-E? Kind of funny. <laughs> I always laughed at that. God, it looked like it poked him right in the eye like a thousand times, like, Ow! I'm blind! Try using Future Sight now, Natu. Ooh, Whalemore. It evolves into a Whale Lord, which is the largest Pokémon to my knowledge. Not the heaviest, but the largest Pokémon. Out of any of them, I think. I think, I'm not positive. It might have changed generations to come. It's actually needed to catch the, um... The Reggies in the uh, third game. You need that and a Relicanth. In a certain order, too, but I forgot which order. I think it was an order of fries. <laughs> no, just kidding. Ooh, a critical hit. God, what are you pissed about, Cerberus? And he doesn't feed us five square meals a day? What's wrong with the guy? I mean, really? Like, why would you try stopping us? It's not like you're hurting things or any- it's like we're hurting things or anything. Yay, an item. 
Ooh, an ether, very nice. And I think we actually run into someone going backwards. No, we don't. I thought we did. Like, the game did that on purpose. Because they thought it would be funny. 